Peter Gray from the A Review. Hello, Robin. Hello, Jacqueline. Hi, Peter. Hi. I spoke to you very briefly last night and you let me geek out over Deep Blue Sea oh, and, right. and Romper Stomper, yes. of all things. Um, so Why just, of all things? They're great. No, they are, but yeah. I, I just saw Romper Stomper when I was far too young. That's right. the main oh, thing. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Okay. And just so that you're not left out, loved ones, I see you. That film, my, oh, my <laughs> God, so incredible. Um, but also congratulations for last night. Had either of you seen the film before then? Yes. 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 Have you heard responses so far after last night? Yeah, very good yeah. responses. Yeah. I How keep about hearing you? gripping, gripping. It's always a good word to hear for a thriller. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, watching it, seeing your characters, looking at like the filming experience, because obviously you're more like out in the out in the bush. You sort of get to be in like the resort, so to speak. But I heard that you had like a leech. Well, we had to get there for those scenes, and this is the thing. So it didn't matter whether we were on camera or not. The scenes where we were out in the wilderness, we had to carry everything down, all the crew, and well, only a very small crew, we had to carry the cameras right down a hill like this of paths that weren't there because no one had ever shot in these areas before and we had special dispensation uh, to shoot there. It was um, national parks. And, um, you know, we all got the leeches from the caterers it was a daily to the event. Youth, it was an hour people. Event. Yeah, it was. So, and I was out there for quite quite a few of the scenes. So, even though I was covered, but boy, oh boy, I heard some doozy stories that I was very happy not yeah. to be part. Party Eyeballs, of. nostrils, uh, and mouths, leeches. I was like, I'm guessing you experienced probably a bit. More no, I did a special spell and I banned the leeches <laughs> from my being. But there and it were, worked. and it worked. Um, a few people did that and were successful, but a lot of people had a daily like, yeah, ear, <sighs> nose, mouth. It was they were dropping from the trees. And when you know that you're going to be in that sort of environment, like, is it one of those things that you, I guess, like thrive on as an actor to be like, okay, I'm out, I'm like, doesn't matter about trailers, all that sort of fan. Like, you're just like, you're out there in the wilderness and you sort of like, that helps, I guess, like ground you. It helps tell the story. And um, yeah, I tend to only work outdoors for some reason. Like at most jobs I do, I was on a show called Hell on Wheels for AMC for five years. We were in the dust and the grime. Oh, yeah. This is like my happy place. So <laughs> as soon as I heard we're gonna be thrown into the wilderness, I was like, yes, please. Yeah. I, I, I think it's really freeing um, as opposed to a studio, which can feel really restrictive and you need to use more of your technique to an imagination. Whereas when you're just responding to nature and the elements, mm. it's really invigorating and you don't really need to yeah, do mm. too much. It's, yeah, yeah. you're fully supported. And had you both read the book prior to, to signing on? No. Did you did you go back and read the book at all? Yes. Well, I've had many annotations by Little Eel Mark. I think they got sick of me bringing the book out. <laughs> but I really had to because uh, the, on the, the script was very spare for my character. Right, yeah. And I'm in a, a lot of scenes where I'm very observational. Because I figure, I mean, we had a nice backstory there. I figure that she needs to be there. I was like a bunch of chicks. I think Eric can take this. I'll just stick back and watch. They won't like me. You know, <laughs> I, she's a bit old school. Yeah. But it's funny, you know, I think going back to relishing working in the wilderness and working on anything, whether it's, I mean, sometimes the hardest jobs that you can have are you are dry you're beautiful they've got their hair pieces going and all you have to do is walk in the door and say excuse me could i please have a scotch and coke or whatever it is the most simple scene but if you don't feel supported i know this sounds for me anyway if i don't feel that i'm in, in a good team if i don't feel like there there is a team in fact i don't know where i am because I, i'm from the theater we both are theater trained we are we thrive on ensembles so when things are separated and we don't know or someone's not trusting who at the top where you know people aren't talking or it's it's brutal to be around if you hear an actor or a producer director screaming yeah. at someone in the unit who has just carried like <laughs> cases of water an hour through the bush to get down there and fought off the leeches and someone screams at him i can't i, I can't function i know yeah. that's bad but i just i just hate it i don't want to be there yeah. this we knew we had eric and we had robert connolly we had bruna and jody and they have long been besties they're besties in 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 la with like deborah lee and nicole Mm -hmm. they love actors they understand us and get us and they know that if we're 
like warm as warm as we can be yeah. we're looked after we're supported we it's just bring it what next what do we do what do you want yeah. to, we'll do anything yeah. actors are like that yeah. we can't wait that's what we specialize in whatever you throw at us we'll we'll get in there we love it so you got to have the sort of great i guess the retreat experience without the nonsense that went on on screen I well guess. exactly there was zero hierarchy and yeah. rob Connolly is such a collaborative creative and um yeah andy commerce our cinematographer just so beautiful how we all work together as a team it was mm. yeah it could have been an absolute nightmare given what we went through but it was a dream and it was so relaxed and that's you know credit to rob and eric oh, and yeah absolutely yeah, for creating that environment for and us. And saying that you read the like you read the book, is there that sense of because you've read it and you sort of you picture these characters in your mind, you hear their voices, is there sort of hard to like disconnect when you're then reading the script of that and you almost have to just like forget everything you've read when it comes to Well I read to the, the I read the book first. afterwards. Yeah. And I knew who Aaron Fork right. was. Yes. And I knew who Jill was. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. I'm not a I'm not a, an easy I, I don't find reading fiction terribly easy. Okay. I love nonfiction. Me too. I'm just an I love very it. Very few very few actors who I, like I can't get enough of it. I, and I concentrate and I think it's probably to do with that focus thing that if I've come to it, I've sorted out because I'm researching a role or something. And if I've sorted out, I will spend 14 hours straight reading it. Whereas if I open a book and I don't know what to expect, it's a bit like stepping on a step that a set that you're not sure who's talking to who or what, what what's going on here. It's quite ang it fills me with anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> I like to know the bits and bobs, where the boundaries are, and I want to sort of know a bit of a landscape of it, and then I can relax and let it wash over me I guess if you like yeah well uh, so I was looking at the book much more for dialogue what could possibly she might have said in between scenes mm -hmm. but so you got to be so careful with that stuff because yeah. ultimately we know this from doing adaptations on stage you know people that rely on the book the whole time it's like put the book away it's not yeah, in don't get the hung up on no it. because yeah. we've got to get from this scene that's written in the screenplay this scene that doesn't exist so don't and bring stuff from there that might not be relevant. And if it doesn't work on the page, on the script page, then you need to be really practical about it. And we had that opportunity with Rob Connolly, That's true, who's yeah. so flexible, and with his associate Tara, um, Tara mm -hmm. who worked so tirelessly on the script. We were so we we're able to be so rigorous with the text um, until it worked in the way that we needed it to. So well, that was that's a rare experience in itself. Well, considering how everything came together on screen, I think whatever you whatever you read, whatever you didn't read, whatever you took, it's all come together very nicely. So thank you, Perfect. thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.